guys, how's it going? This is Paramore and their song 26. This is a live version from Stockholm. This version takes all of the parts that are on the original song, which are quite a few, and makes it into a pretty concise solo version. It's not an easy song to play if you're planning on getting through it with no mistakes. It will take a lot of practice and a lot of attention to detail. So let's start from the beginning, and it is fingerstyle and standard tuning. Experience in Travis picking helps on this piece. So does experience in finger picking. You're going to be using the claw. I don't think there's ever a time when you need to use your third finger. Our main picking pattern, I'm going to show you that before I show you the chords, is going to be... chords that have the root on string 5 or the bottom note on string 5. You are going to play 5 and 3 together with your thumb and index. Then you're going to move up your thumb to the 4th string and play 4 and 2 with your thumb and your middle finger. for the first chord, which is going to be a D, that's going to be the mainstay of the tune. We're going to hit that note a lot. You're going to go back and forth between those string groups. Five and three, four and two. Just like that. Let me go really slow. You're going to do it twice. Then you're going to play what I mentioned before, which is more of a Travis style picking. Five, three, four, two, five, three, four. Let me give you that again with that first chord. It's a surprisingly fast song. You're going to have to be on your toes for these chord switches because they're not easy to do in terms of what fingers you have to use on your right hand. Let me give you a demonstration on the next chord, which is going to be G. Now your fingering is going to be index on string 6 fret 3, third finger string 4 fret 4, which is an F sharp, which makes it a G major 7. Then your third string is open, and then your second finger is on the third fret second string. So your groups are going to be 6, 3, part one video, I think the most troubling section for some of you may be right there. Just go very carefully. You may even want to just play them as blocks. Until you get used to that. So we've got our first two chords, and that section repeats many times at the beginning of the tune, so you're partway through the tune. After we go through that section six times, because you're going to go through it twice for the intro, and then Haley starts to sing, and we go through it four more times, and then there's the pre-chorus. This chord is not as hard as it looks. It may be at first, but this is just an inverted A major chord. There's not an A in a bass, but a C sharp. So quickly, your fingering is going to be index on string 5, fret 4. Get set there. Then you're going to put your pinky on string 4, fret 7. You got that. You're going to have that G ringing in the middle, which is really going to make it an A7 chord. And then you're going to have your second finger on string 2, 
fret 5, which is really an E. And you will ask, well, why can't I play open E? Well, because you can't. As you notice, I don't really have to explain much about the finger picking for every chord because we would be here for a week. So just know it's the same string 5 pattern. I'll call it that. When you see it on the graph, you'll know what I'm talking about. String 5 pattern. Go down to G again. We went down to G. Back to the A with the C sharp and the bass chord. Back down to G. Well, I think what Taylor intended to do here, which he didn't do, I'm going to do it anyway, was to do this pattern again. And then, six times each. Five, six, and then B in the bass, the B minor chord again. So your groups are going to be six, three, four, two, six, three, four, two. And then a strum. And then we go to the chorus. Now the chorus. time Taylor goes down to an A chord for the end of the chorus. So play through G. Go to your D chord again with the A in the bass. I forgot to mention that earlier. D has the A in the bass, the open fifth string. Go down and I hit all four middle strings. That's an A chord. And then we go back to the intro. Notice how that D, as we go to the end of the chorus, the same fingering. Take your time on that intro, and I will come back with part two, which goes into a bridge and some alterations, and then eventually we are going to get into the 12 string part and the electric guitar part. Okay, have fun, and I will see you for part two.